Hey, 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 I'm Al Cavadlo, and this is Ask Al. A lot of people have been asking me about ab wheel rollouts, and it seems like it's pretty common for folks to hurt their back when trying to build up to the full standing ab wheel rollout. So here are some tips to hopefully help you avoid that and safely work your way toward this advanced feet of strength. First off, ab wheel rollouts involve way more than just your abs. Yes, the emphasis is on the abdominals, but you need to engage your arms, shoulders, chest, back, glutes, and even your legs when you train with an ab wheel. Your lower back is also key in performing ab wheel rollouts as it acts as an antagonist to your abdominal muscles and helps provide stability for your spine. I think part of the reason people sometimes injure their lower back with this exercise is because they aren't thinking about engaging it properly. Furthermore, you need to build a decent foundation of core strength before you even begin practicing ab wheel rollouts. It's not a good exercise for a complete beginner. That said, start with a gymnastic style hollow body hold and try to get comfortable with holding that position for a minimum of 30 seconds. Don't let your lower back come off the ground. Now, if this isn't possible for you yet, you can regress the move by bending your knees. Just make sure you keep that contact between your lower back and the floor. The next step is to practice kneeling ab wheel rollouts. Begin the kneeling plank with the ab wheel beneath your chest, then roll the wheel away from your body as you pivot from your knees, bringing your hips and your chest down toward the ground as you extend your arms overhead with your elbows straight. Focus on maintaining that same flat back position that you do in your hollow body hold. Now a tiny bit of spinal extension may be unavoidable, but anything more than a few degrees is probably gonna be problematic. Also, the lower you go, the harder the move becomes. So feel free to start with a partial range of motion at first. Now once you can perform 20 or more consecutive kneeling ab wheel rollouts with a full range of motion, then you're ready to begin working toward the full standing ab wheel rollout. Start by just working the negative. And you can even drop to your knees halfway through if you aren't able to do a full negative. Eventually, if you practice long enough, you'll build the strength to reverse the movement pattern. I recommend treating the standing ab wheel rollout almost like a one rep max when you begin. So give yourself plenty of rest between efforts and don't practice them too frequently. As you gain strength and control, you can eventually work toward performing multiple reps and doing them more often. Well, that's all the time I've got for now. If you enjoyed this episode, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And if you've got questions for me, just drop them in the comments below and maybe I'll answer yours next time. Till then, I'm Al Cavadlo and we're working out.